Hey guys, welcome to Black Gumbo. I want to give you an update on the condition of my garden after I poisoned it with uh, herbicide tainted hay. Let's go take a look at my garden. <music> If you follow my channel, you've seen that we had a disaster this year. I brought in some coastal Bermuda hay to act as mulch in my garden, only to find later, after a lot of frustration, that my hay had been tainted with an herbicide. Now, after lots of research and lots of help from fellow gardeners, lots of help from commenters, and lots of help from uh, other YouTubers, uh, I have discovered that my my straw my hay is tainted with an herbicide uh, probably Grazon by Dow AgriSciences. Grazon is a persistent aminopyrrolid uh, herbicide. It, it, it attacks uh, broadleaf, dicot, so uh, farmers will take this and spray it on their on their hay fields or on their on their grass fields and it'll kill out all the all the broadleaf and um, all the weeds in there. They'll be able to bundle that up and sell good uh, weed-free hay. Well, that's all great. The only problem is this stuff is this stuff is deadly and persistent. Persistent means it stays in the soil, in the plant, and through all kinds of various processes that would otherwise break down on herbicide, it persists. And so what, what gardeners, especially in the UK in the, in the mid-2000s, they began to notice this stuff that this herbicide would go through, it would be sprayed on hay, it would be fed to livestock, livestock would process that hay, <coughs> and uh, their manure would uh, come, you know, come out the other end. They'd harvest all this manure, compost it, and send it to gardeners. They'd put this stuff in their garden, and then they'd wonder, well, why is my garden dying? Why, why are my tomatoes curling up and not producing? And that's what persistent means. This, this uh, herbicide, has gone through several steps which otherwise would break down various uh, various toxins and then uh, it's still killing plants well, that's what happened to my garden that's what happened to a lot of people's garden this is irresponsible agriculture this is an irresponsible product because if you go ask your extension office especially in places where they are, are uh, commercially growing uh, hay they're gonna say oh yeah it's fine it breaks down your, your animals can graze on it right away it doesn't have any ill effects and universities are saying, oh yeah, well, we, we know it's kind of persistent, but it'll break down. But it doesn't break down. And my garden has suffered from this. What this means to us gardeners is um, we can no longer trust straw, hay as mulch, uh, manure brought in. We don't know what the sort, we don't know what's upstream of that bag of mulch we bought down at the Home Depot. We don't know what those cows had been fed on. We don't know if they've been grazing on fields sprayed by grazon. It's becoming more and more common. Uh, just this past week in my research and in watching various other uh, YouTubers like David the Good, who actually was inspired to write his Compost Everything book because of this very issue, uh, we, we, don't, we don't really know what's in our upstream stuff and we're having to deal with this. We're having to deal with dead plants, killing our gardens, knocking off our tomatoes, and that renders our soil uh, no good uh, for, for at least a year, sometimes two years. I've even heard as much as four or five years. And that's costly. That can devastate a backyard garden like mine for many years. So this amino pyrrolid um, herbicide is, is distributed by Dow AgroSciences under many different names. Uh, the most common one in the United States is, is uh, Grazon, meaning you know you can spray it on your plants and your animals can graze on it right away. I believe in the UK it's, uh, it's been, you can look it up on Wikipedia and they've got Frontline and some other uh, numerous kinds of um, commercial names, but this stuff is used extensively. There are stories and stories and stories of gardeners not knowing what's going on with their plants and not being able to figure it out because it looks like maybe you've got a virus or it looks like you've got some plant disease or a watering uh, deficiency. This is bad stuff. We need to get the word out about this Grazon stuff because it, what it means is that we can no longer use resources from outside our garden uh, unless we're absolutely sure where it comes from and what's been sprayed on that material. So the cost to me has been heavy. What, what the cost of this irresponsible uh, marketing of herbicides has done for me personally, it's cost me an entire year of composting. 
An entire year of composting I put in my beds, gone. All that effort, all that labor, gone. It cost me all my plants. I didn't start seed this year. I actually bought my plants because I, I didn't start seed on time. It cost me, you know, 100, 150 bucks in plants. It's costing me a couple of years in growth and production because now I can't plant my summer crop there because I've got to remediate that soil by planting grasses and things that will suck up that graze on and try to remediate that soil. So there's no telling what the actual cost is. And so we've got to make sure that we're careful and that we get the word out. This is not good stuff. This is not an ethical practice. Um, Dell AgroSciences has uh, acknowledged that there could be problems and their solution is to tell farmers uh, to be careful, basically, to uh, not spray it on things that you're going you're gonna to turn around and resell to gardeners. Th that's not a solution. That, that's not the answer. The answer is to cease making this product, but they're not going to. It's very profitable. Just like uh, Roundup, just like all these uh, poisons they spray on our plants now, it's not profitable to, to do because these farmers can sell all that hay to your local horse stable, um, and to us gardeners and to uh, dairies, wherever they need hay, they can sell this stuff. And it's only downstream and way downstream because this is so persistent, this problem can go way downstream and affect people that well, we don't even know where it came from and we can't figure it out because they're not talking about it. So to remediate this, there are several ways being talked about and discuss. I've received some good advice from uh, fellow YouTubers and gardeners. Uh, David the Good has talked about it. And in fact, he did an entire good stream just last night about this single problem. And um, I had asked the night before about this problem and, and uh, yeah, it's devastating. So what can you do about it? <clears throat> well, you can try biochar or charcoal amended into your soil to absorb those toxins. Uh, wood ash is another one that you can put in there. But what, what is most uh, likely to help is to plant a grass crop. After all, this stuff is an herbicide that attack, it attacks broad leaves and, and dicot plants, not grass plants, which are monocots. And so um, all this grass will actually take up the toxins and store them in the plant. And then we can chop that crop down and get rid of it. Not compost it because it's got all those persistent herbicides in there. Just uh, get rid of them, uh, send them to the city dump, burn them. So uh, corn, corn is a grass crop. So we probably grow a lot of corn this summer, which won't get large enough to give us a crop. I don't know if you'd really want to eat it after all, it's storing all that herbicide. But uh, you know, corn is a grass crop and ought to, ought to draw that stuff up out of the soil. So yeah, we're gonna try all these methods and we're gonna, we're gonna look into remediating that soil. The only other option is to go over there and dig up all that soil and replenish it with new soil. I don't have the money for that, nor the time. I don't want to put in the effort. So, yeah, I'm really angry about this situation. This has not made me a happy gardener. Um, once again, this is irresponsible, unethical um, practices by agro, uh, Dow AgroSciences, and uh, they should be ashamed of themselves. This is, this is not treating your neighbor with love. So, let's take a look at my garden and see what's actually trying to grow there. So if you look at this tomato plant, that is a deformed leaf. You might think, oh, I've got a virus. Look at the leaf curl. Or, oh, I've got a watering deficiency. My plant is stressed out. But look how the leaf is actually deformed. See these sawtoothed edges? It shouldn't be grown like that. If it's just stressed out, you're not going to have that actual deformation. Now, I have blossoms. I don't expect them to actually uh, bear fruit. I do have some fruit on the lower part. These leaves came when the plant was growing healthy and was put in. It grew up, it grew up. After I put my tainted hay in, this is when I started getting the, these uh, awful signs. Some of these other plants over here are actually very stunted. This is not what a tomato is supposed to look like. But these are the culprits. These are the baled coastal Bermuda hay that I bought at my local uh, feed store. I will be letting them know just so they can warn their the customers that if they're going to use this hay in gardening they should think twice of course all my other garden is doing great the figs are growing fine they're all everything in pots is doing just fine because there's no graze on in those pots so most of my gardening efforts this year and probably next year may be limited to pots if i can't remediate that soil so this is my solution to the problem since i can no longer bring in manure and hay from outside my house 
that is trustworthy. I, I've built these larger compost bins. I can compost trusted material in my own resources off of my own property. I can compost my own stuff and I can be sure that it's not going to kill my garden. That's the only way that I can trust anything I put in my soil now is that I'm for sure I know what's in it because I grew it or I, I composted it or I sourced it myself. So yeah, this is a persistent problem. You need to be warned about it. It can affect you. It affected me. I'm just some guy in a suburb in, the, in Texas and, and it affected me. So it's all over the place. Farmers don't even know about this. They spray it on their crops. They don't even know. So we need to get the word out about this. We need to warn fellow gardeners about this. We need to talk about it and we, we need to use the names and name the names Dow AgroScience and Grazon and the various other product names that this is sold under. People need to be aware that that's not good stuff. It's bad stuff. It's very bad stuff. It's unethical stuff. So please share this video, share it around, get the word out. Thanks for joining me on Black Gumbo. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, we're really encouraged by all the comments and subscriptions. Uh, like us on Facebook and on Instagram, and we'll talk to you next time, hopefully, hopefully with better news. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.